Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you probably already know from the title of this video, I am gonna be doing a huge Hollister haul today. So I haven't got anything from Hollister in maybe the last 10 years since I was at university. Um, and I remember it being a massive kind of big name brand back then, but I honestly just to have never thought about ordering from them. And it was actually you guys who told me that some of their stuff is really, really good, especially their jeans. So I wanted to go online, try some stuff out. They had an amazing sale on, and I was surprised at how cheap some of this stuff is. So as per usual, I'm gonna be running you through the bits that I ordered, talking to you about the size, fit, quality, pricing, everything like that. One thing that I found super bizarre when I ordered this stuff, so some of it's Hollister and some of it's Gilly Hicks, which I guess they're kind of like sister brands. Um, but I ordered, I think I ordered 14 items and it came in five different packages on different days, which I have no idea. And there was like a week between the first and the last delivery. So whether they come from different warehouses, I don't know, but I thought that was quite bizarre and wasteful. So I literally have bags absolutely everywhere. Um, but let's see if it was actually worth it. Okay, so first outfit I have on is this. So I got these jeans on with this wrap over sweater. Just to recap, sizing wise, I normally wear a UK 16 on top and a UK 18 on bottom. So let's talk about this sweater first. You guys know I love anything that has this kind of wrap crossover detail. I think it's really nice and flattering if you are on the curvier side. It helps kind of like cinching your waist a little bit. Looks really great with jeans and stuff. Um, so it's this kind of ribbed knit sweater in a really, really nice gray color. I think they have this in other colors as well. Um, and it's a kind of, it's like a sewn in one. So you literally just slip it over your head. Really nice quality, actually. It's not really thick, but it's also not too thin. Um, I think it's quite flattering. It's really comfortable. It doesn't come too low. I got this in a size large. and I'd say the sizing is spot on for what I want. And this was only 12 pounds. Okay, I'm moving on to the jeans. So these are the ultra high rise crop super skinny jeans. I got them in medium destroy. I got them in a 15 regular. I have no idea what that means size wise. They have a size chart on their website. So best thing to do is just check that out. But that's the size that I ordered. So they are extremely cropped. I am five foot seven. And as you can see, they are very, very short. I actually don't mind that so much. Um, they have like really nice distressing down the legs. It's not too, sometimes if they're distressed too much, it can, it can be a, bit, a little bit too much, but I think these are a good amount. These are actually, I need a size bigger in these. So I have managed to get them up, but my skin's kind of like bulging out the top. They're not particularly comfortable. Um, obviously if I got them in a size bigger, they would be. I will say though that these are really nice and kind of comfortable. They're moving with my body, they're nice and elasticated. So they are a good, comfortable pair of jeans, but I would need the next size up in these. Um, they're just like a little bit too tight all over really. And like, even on the kind of rips here, I feel like my legs kind of bulging out of it. They are really nice. I don't think I'm in love with this wash to be perfectly honest, but I paid 30 pounds 80 for these, which I think is spot on pricing. Um, yeah, maybe if they were in a different color and a bigger size, I think I'd like them more. Okay, so I was gonna show you another pair of jeans, but I feel like I harp on about this so much. Sizing across different stores, even sizing in stores vary so much. Like I said, I just tried on those 15 regular jeans. They did fit, they were a little bit small. These ones literally got them halfway up my thigh. These came up so small. I thought I'd show you anyway. They're a kind of straight leg jean with a bit of distressing. I do love this kind of washed out gray black color. Um, these are the ultra high rise vintage straight jeans. I thought they looked quite nice. The leg on them looks quite wide to me, but they do feel quite good quality. Like I said, again, they are 15 regular, but just did not fit at all. 
but the quality does feel quite nice on these. So I paid £27 for those and they were originally £39. I actually think that original price is like not too bad for a pair of jeans anyway, but they weren't meant to be. Instead, I have on this dress. So I saw this and I actually thought this would be a great sort of all year round dress. I know obviously we're in lockdown at the moment, we're not going anywhere. But this is something you could easily wear with a pair of tight heeled boots in winter and just kind of layer it up. So this bit across here is that stretchy kind of like bandeau fabric. Um, it's double layered on the bottom so you have this kind of built in slip with this kind of light meshy fabric on top. This fabric's actually really nice and smooth. I've tried on a lot of dresses like this and sometimes they can feel very cheap. This feels quite nice quality so I'm surprised. Um, it's really comfortable as well. This is all elasticated. If you're gonna go out and eat in this, you're gonna be fine because it is just gonna move with your body. Again, if you are curvy like me, then I think it is quite flattering because it kind of accentuates your waist, but still nice and comfortable at the same time. Please ignore my bra straps. Again, the sleeves are elasticated very nice and comfortable so i got this in a size large as well i think the size is spot on you can be very flexible with your sizing with this obviously because it is so elasticated um and this was 20 pounds i actually think that's really really good for a dress that would suit for all different seasons let me give you a close-up of the print as well it's a nice kind of like subtle floral print okay so the rest of the haul is actually just jumpers jackets and t-shirts so i've put my leggings back on just so you know nice and comfortable right first up let's talk about this jacket so i ordered this blazer um blazers tend to be a bit hit and miss for me sometimes i feel like they're not quite shaped for my body enough this one's quite nice actually um so it's this gray plaid jacket i really love the color of this this feels really good quality it does actually have like a little bit of stretch to it ever so slightly the fabric's nice and smooth i like that it does have a little bit of give to it because sometimes i feel blazers can be just like a little bit restrictive um i like the length on this as well it's that nice kind of ever so slightly oversized look i got this in a size extra large um and i'd say sizing is I mean, I actually don't know what the an extra large is. This is fitting me probably how I would like it. Um, I'd probably wear it with kind of like what I'm wearing now, like a little t-shirt with some high-waisted jeans kind of tucked in like that and just kind of layer it up. This was 30 pounds. Um, I actually think that's really good for like the quality. It does feel very good quality. Oh, there are actually pockets on it as well. It's a nice kind of like staple blazer. I just don't know if I 100% love it on me. I would still prefer something that's a little bit fitted, but maybe I could get it kind of tailored in a little bit. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but I have this t-shirt on as well to show you guys. So very, very simple white cropped tee. This says Hollister, California. I just thought the kind of um font and the little prints on this was really really sweet this t-shirt is actually really good material it feels really nice and soft it's thin and lightweight i was worried it was going to be see-through but i'm wearing it with a black bra and it's definitely not see-through i like that it's cropped but it's not super cropped um like i said earlier it means if you do want to kind of tuck it into a pair of jeans or something i think it would look really good like that or alter alternatively wear it just like with leggings at the weekend very nice and comfortable i noticed they actually had quite a lot of kind of graphic print tees like this on their website so if you don't like this one but want something similar then definitely go check them out because they had loads to choose from i got this in a size large which i think is pretty good size wise it's not tight or clingy or anything like that and this was only seven pounds 60 which is super duper cheap and i'm actually really impressed with the quality bit of a random one i actually forgot i even ordered this so i saw this kind of um what do you call it like a seamless bralette i get asked so many times like what i do for bras around the house and stuff in lockdown what's supportive but non-underwired i have actually ordered some stuff from 
H&M, I ordered a sports bra from there, which I've been loving. Do you want to order some more ones? So I picked up this one. Do you know, this is, this is not what I was expecting. It's kind of like that, um, not like Spanx material. It's kind of that smooth material, but it's a lot more kind of stretchy. Um, really, really simple, quite thin straps. Just kind of goes, the straps are adjustable. Um, but do you know what? It's actually quite supportive. Um, I got this in a size large and it was 11 pounds. So definitely a good option if you are on the lookout for a nice comfortable bra. I have another graphic print tee to show you guys. So this was actually listed as an oversized t-shirt. I got this in a size large. I actually love the way that this is fitting. And although this is oversized, it's not super boxy. The material's really, really nice and smooth again. It's this kind of acid vintage washed um, kind of biker style t-shirt. What does it say? Renegade Racing. So you have that little print there. And there's also that really big kind of logo on the back there. Seeing this in person, I don't know if I like the, pr it, the quality is very good, don't get me wrong. Um, it's not like it's, sometimes when you get printed t-shirts, it's like plasticky printed on top. This is really good quality printing, like really, really good. It doesn't feel like it would crack, fade, anything like that. But seeing it in person, I just don't know if it's my style. Um, but I will say that the quality of this t-shirt is so nice. I love the way that this is fitting. Like I said, it's a large, loads of room, but it doesn't like kind of swamp me at all. Um, this was 12 pounds in the sale. So I, yeah, again, I think that is really, really good pricing. Oh my gosh, this jacket. This is so nice and cozy. I mean, I am boiling right now, it's so hot in here. But it's this biker style jacket in this kind of um, fleecy, sheep skinny style fabric. These are very kind of in right now. I love this kind of neutral color. It's a nice way to kind of put something cozy on without wearing like a big puffer jacket or something like that. This would be a really good option. Quality of this is really, really good. It's lined really nicely. Oh, this is so nice and cozy. Um, I don't know how much I would wear this because I'd be terrified of getting it dirty. But honestly, I was so surprised by how much this was. So I got this in a size large. I say that sizing is spot on. I don't think I could get it done up, but I personally would never wear it done up. Um, and this was 39 pounds in the sale which genuinely, that is so, so worth it. I think they did this in different colors as well. That's one thing I noticed across their whole website was they did have a lot of different color variations on items, which is really nice to see. Um, yeah, this is really cute. Okay, another item I love. So this t-shirt is actually from Gilly Hicks. I think this is actually a gym t-shirt. This t-shirt is so soft. It is so, so soft. It's actually very, very thin. It doesn't look like it, I mean, I'm wearing black underneath black t-shirt. I don't think it's see-through whatsoever, but the quality of this feels incredible. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it actually has this kind of wrap detailing. For me, this is the perfect gym workout t-shirt because it's nice and thin. You're not going to overheat in it. It's really flattering. You have that nice kind of cropped style to wear with leggings, but I don't feel like too much of like my stomach's out. I don't feel self-conscious in it. I think it's really, really flattering. And you're gonna absolutely die when I tell you what the price is. So I got this in a size large. I think the sizing is spot on. And this was five pounds 80 in the sale. I'm gonna have to order this in literally every single color. I have another kind of ribbed wrap front top for you guys. This is actually a bit different to the gray one because the gray one was definitely a jumper. This one's very, very thin, more of a kind of knitted top. Um, I got this in a large, so same size. This is fitting very differently. I don't know if it's meant to be tighter, but the wrap on this is sewn in a lot more and I feel like it's not really sitting right on my boobs. You have this kind of stitch detailing here, which I do like because it gives you that kind of band which kind of accentuates your waist a little bit more. You have these kind of cuff detailing on the sleeve, a bit more of a baggy sleeve. Um, 
I would definitely want this in a size bigger, but also I got this in the white and as you can see, it is quite see-through. Like the quality is still really good. The fabric is so nice and soft. So like I said, I got this in a large as well and this was only £8.60. So it, well, it is cheaper than the other one, but I think the other one is definitely worth the money. Whereas this one, okay. So I'm not normally a cardigan kind of person. But I've seen that these seem to be very in style right now, kind of chunky knit cropped cardigan and just kind of wearing them done up like this. So I got this in a size large as well. I say sizing is spot on. The fabric on this, it says that it's kind of like a chenille. I think I said that right, chenille type fabric. It is very, very soft. It's a nice kind of chunky knit that it's not super stiff like a lot of kind of really cheap brands are. Um, it only has three buttons, which I think is like a little bit, could be a little bit gapy, but I think the length of the crop on this is really good. Size is really good. Do I like it on me? I don't think I do. I, I don't feel like it's doing a lot for me. I kind of prefer the wrap grey jumper at the beginning, but I do think this is amazing quality. Um, I cannot deny that. I think the sizing is spot on as well. So this was in the sale for £14, which again, I just think that is amazing price. And yeah, I don't think you would find many other brands that have the same kind of item for that price that would be this good quality. Right, next up, I have on this long sleeve top. Again, this fabric is so, so soft. I've said this before, I actually have quite sensitive skin, so when fabric's scratchy, I just can't wear it. And yeah, this is so nice and soft. It's this kind of button down um, style top. They have these in loads of different colors and it has like a very slight kind of ribbing to it as well. It's, it's very, very thin. It kind of feels like a jumper material, but very thin. This is ever so slightly see-through. It's not as see-through as that other white kind of wrap one that I had on earlier, but it is a little bit see-through. This is a price tag, by the way, <laughs> not price tag, a um, size tag in case you're wondering what that was. But actually what I noticed, this I think is the first item that has the um, stereotypical Hollister branding on it. And I remember back in the day, anyone who wore Hollister, it was so, like so heavily branded. Everything was like Hollister, Hollister, Hollister. I know I had on that white t-shirt which said Hollister California, but apart from that, I don't actually think I've seen any branding on all the other bits. So this is the first one that's had the branding, but it is still very subtle. It's just that kind of embroidered seagull. I like stuff embroidered on, I think it makes it look really good quality. I got this in a size large. This is form fitted, but I really like that. I like, I think this would just look so nice with some high waisted jeans, so nice and comfortable. So obviously you can button this up or button all the way down. I quite like the fact that it's got a little bit of boo about, not a lot. I don't feel self-conscious, but a little bit of boo about, I think that looks really good. So it actually says that this is called the Henley T-shirt. So they actually class this fabric as a T-shirt material, but it definitely feels like a kind of um, very, very thin jumper. So I got this in the sale for 11 pounds. Like I said, they did this in loads of different colors as well. So a few different ones to choose from. Yeah, I just think this is like a perfect staple and I really don't think you can go that wrong with 11 pounds. Yes, the white is ever so slightly see-through. I personally wear this with a bra that's not black and I, I think it'd be absolutely fine. Right guys, last but not least, is it a shock that I ordered more grey stuff? I've said this so many times before, this is one of my favourite colours, this dark charcoal grey. I think it goes with so many different things. I just love it. And I have this slightly cropped, slightly cropped jumper on with a very kind of small stand up collar. It's in that same kind of, similar to the cardigan, that kind of chenille type fabric. This one's a lot thinner and again, this is, honest to God, this is so, so soft. This feels really good quality. I'm honestly so surprised by the pricing of these things and how good quality they are. Um, so yeah, kind of like ribbed, knit, jumper. You have that little stand up. I don't feel like I'm being choked out by this. It's not kind of restrictive on my neck at all. I got this in a large as well. It's actually quite roomy this. I don't know how it's meant to be fitting, 
but it feels I feel like it might be a little bit better if I got it in a smaller size I just feel like this bit here but I guess you could kind of tuck it into jeans and yeah it is super good quality really really comfortable price of this is 14 pounds right guys that is everything from me today honestly i think i have found a new favorite brand to shop from online because literally everything i ordered there was no bad things in there at all yes the jeans were a little bit small i know that from now on to just size up but everything was very good if not exceptional quality I honestly thought that I know I got everything in the sale I get that but even the full the full prices I think they're amazing value for money everything is really good quality really comfortable I'm 100% going to be ordering more stuff from them in the future I will leave all of the links for the stuff that I tried on down in the description box in case you do want to go check them out for yourself but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you never miss an upcoming video and until next time I will see you guys later